Hello everybody, I have another mini cases video for you guys today. Um, today we're going to be talking about four people in particular. The last one I did we had 11 people. It was probably the longest mini cases video I've done. This one is going to be back on the shorter side. Um, and yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. The people we're going to be talking about is Delima Sitzpoor. Darian Dawkins, Anthony Breedlove, and Earl Distance. Now, some of the photos aren't the best uh, because they're very old, like the cases themselves are very old. So I do apologize, and um, we don't have much information on these cases, which is why they're mini cases, but all the links that I use for research will be down below, like always, and let's go ahead and get into this. So we're going to start off with Earl. So Earl Leonard Distance was 39 when he was last seen leaving his home in the 1600 block of Abbotson Street in Baltimore, Maryland on March 3rd, 1991, and he was never seen or heard from again. No other details are to be found about his case. He stood at about 6 foot, 170 pounds, and he was last seen wearing a red jacket, two-toned red sweatpants, white sneakers, and he has brown hair and brown eyes with a scar on his left cheek. If you have any information, the Baltimore Police Department phone number is 443-984-7114 and 410-396-2359. Again, the phone numbers are 443-984-7114 and 410-396-2359. I will have his photo on the screen. Moving on to Darian. So Darian Maurice Dawkins was 29 when he was last seen walking in the Forest Hills area in Eufaula, Alabama at 7 p.m. on February 17th in 2016, and he was never seen or heard from again. He is a Navy, a Navy veteran, and he let, leaves behind three children. There are no other details to be found about his case. He would now be 37 years old, 6 foot 1, 160 pounds, and he was last seen wearing a black sweatshirt, a white t-shirt, light gray sweatpants, and orange sneakers. He suffers from schizophrenia and bipolar disorder, and he needs medication which he does not have with him. Without the medication, he could be a danger to himself and to others. He has no history of violent behavior, though, despite that. He has black hair, brown eyes, and he did smoke cigarettes at the time, and he has tattoos on both arms. I'm not sure what those tattoos are. But if you have any information, you are urged to contact the Eufaula Police Department at 334-687-1200. Again, that phone number is 334-687-1200. And I will have his, phone, or his photo on the screen. Moving on to Anthony Breedlove. So we have the least amount of information on Anthony. So he's been missing since April 18th, 2006, and he was last seen in Marion, Alabama. Um, and those are all the details we have. At the time, he was 31 years old, stood at 5 foot 11, 155 pounds, with brown hair and brown eyes. And if you have any information, you are urged to contact Chief Tony Buford, 334 Six eight three nine zero seven one. Again, that phone number is three three four six eight three nine zero seven one. The only photo that I could find that is confirmed to be him will be on the screen right now. Moving on to Delima. So Delima Lou Sitzpoor was uh, 12 at the time and would now be 62. And she disappeared from Pine Ridge, South Dakota on February 20th, 1974. She and another 12-year-old girl left Delima's home near Ogallala. And they were walking a back road from Ogallala to Manderson near the Red Cloud Indian School on the Pine Ridge Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. 
At the time, the temper- temperatures were below zero. Delima's friend would eventually turn back after her hands and feet got frostbitten, but Delima continued towards Manderson. Um, she never arrived and her destination at her destination, and she was never seen or heard from again. Pol- police believe her to be deceased, but her body has never been found. At the time, she was five foot five, one hundred and thirty five pounds, and she wore a white down fitted jacket with two brown stripes on each sleeve brown bell-bottom pants, and sneakers. She has brown hair and eyes and is of Ogallala Sioux descent. Her nickname is Babe. If you, have, if you have any information that could be of help, you are urged to contact the Pine Ridge Police Department at 605-867-8127. Again, the phone number is 605-867-8127. And Delima's photo will be on the screen. All right, everybody. Well, that is everybody that I have lined up for today's video. So I'm going to turn this over to you guys. If you have any information, like I said, that could be of help, please contact those phone numbers. Let me know your thoughts down below. Please be respectful, like always. And thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening to all their stories. It's important that we get their names and their information out there, no matter how much we do or don't have. And with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.